good day and welcome back faintly certainly here and this is backpack battles uh they've just released a new patch 0 0.9.4 uh which introduces a few changes as you can see the menu is a little bit different but there's also some new badges which means different classes can utilize different equipment from other classes and some other balancing changes as well as you can see i've been playing a little bit of ranked uh just to play around and i've uh, got each class up to silver i think this time i'm just uh trying to work out some fun stuff with the reaper Oh, here's one of those badges we spoke about, the Wolf Badge. You can access Berserker weapons. And also enables the Battle Rage once your health drops below 50%. So, I think that's an actually an interesting thing to start with, so we might do that. Uh, I will grab the Blade. I like to have a weapon, and that one costs no stamina. And... Actually, I'm going to grab this. And I'm going to grab this. Now that... Uh, coal... Uh, probably better in the weapon. Do extra damage. We'll start with that. It's not a fantastic start, but... We're up against another Berserker. That's always going to happen. Now, I don't mind this. A frying pan. Because... Oops. That'll do some damage for us. The food will synergize as well. That'll trigger trigger faster. Banana. Gotta have a banana. I'll do it that way so it all lines up. Um, I'll freeze that. And see how we go. Up against a pyromancer now. I've already got a burning coal. Not to worry. Actually, I need to put this here so that when that triggers Battle Rage, these go faster. That's what I'm missing. Another bit of food there for the pan. Uh, I'll pop the coal there, I suppose. Beautiful. Loving all these discounted uh, backpack extensions and a forging hammer. I will grab that. That's another zero stamina cost weapon, and uh, it can upgrade other items, just as if you were playing as the Berserker. Okay. Got a Ranger here. Looks pretty substandard. Alright. Grabbing the Forging Hammer. That'll unlock some more opportunities for us as well. Another backpack. Mushroom would be good. Need, to, need more space. I'm gonna do that. And we'll put the mushroom there. The coal wouldn't hurt as well. Okay, another ranger. She's got the same wolf badge. Which means we both go into berserk mode. Won't be necessary, will it? So that's all right. Um, and below thirty percent health, deal plus fifty percent damage, and that upgrades the pan. What does that do to the pan again? Hmm. So I go for it. And ammonium. I can't remember what that does. I'll be in here somewhere. There it is. Food activates, inflict one poison. Then, yes, I definitely want that to happen. That's good. Okay. I'll just do some swapping around here. Okay, I'll keep that. <laughs> Okay. What's this? Two shovels. Not sure what the strategy is with those. I can't say I'm familiar with it. Here's our pandemonium. So all nearby food or adjacent food inflicts one poison when active. So if I pop that, maybe there. Definitely need more. Backpack space. Thank you. <laughs> right. 
right on cue. Beautiful. I'm going to do that and then pop that there so they're all benefiting from each other as well. The only thing that's missing is a wolf badge. However, that will be doable. If I do a little bit of a re rejig here, so that's all fine. Uh, maybe I'll do this. You're all covered. That'll do. You'll affect every weapon there. That's good. Um, why can't you upgrade that? Or is it only when I'm playing as Berserker, maybe? That's alright. I'll grab a coal. Pop that in there. Another coal. And another little dagger would be nice. But if you weren't aware, the coal, when you put it in a weapon, does a 70% chance to deal an extra damage as well. So uh, that'll just give us the possibility to do a bit more damage. Actually, stop. This can be upgraded. Maybe I'm getting confused. I'll see how that looks. But the Forging Hammer has a skill where if you put certain items next to it, it will upgrade them. Well, that's a nasty looking build with these uh, bone arrows. All right. I like the stamina sack. Because uh, not only gives you space, but also increases your stamina, obviously. I'm going to put the boots there. Dragon skin. That'll have to wait till next turn. Okay, they've got a steel goobit. Wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. The dragon skin boots now resist. There's a chance to resist cold. Battle rage ended. Entered. Cleanse three random debuffs. Gain one empowerment and twelve blocks. That's pretty good. Okay. Vampirism, Venomancer, Hexblade. Hexblade is cheap and is also another form of attack that doesn't take stamina. So I think that's the way to go here. We'll pop that right there, and that'll affect this dagger and this pan. Five, two, five. Um, what else do I want? I can poison a dagger, actually. That might be good. I can get it anywhere near a dagger. Might just sacrifice that one for now to get this up here. I will buy that just to hold. Chuck another dagger in, why not? When the opponent drops below 50%, consume this and deal 0.35 damage for each debuff. So if I've given them heaps of poison, that can just give them a whack when they reach half health, which is potentially good. Think about that. I'll definitely grab the coal. Okay. Alright, poison dagger. Damage 3 to 6. On hit, inflict 2 poison. Can't argue with that. Health potion could be good. Corrupted crystal into a demonic flask might be interesting. Let's see what happens. I haven't done that before. The blood amulet can turn a dagger into a vampiric dagger, but I think that's a bit expensive. A lot more health. Ooh, it's close in the end. Alright, a crown. Oh, what does this become? Opponent drops below 50% or you drop below 25%. Consume this. Steal 0.4 life for each debuff of your opponent and for 3 seconds reduce your opponent's healing by 30%. I mean, that's not bad. I think another poison dagger going. I might even. Another pair of dragon skin boots, maybe? It's only really good when Battle Rage is entered. Maybe I'll just leave that. 
crown is a healing, that could be good. Poison belt is handy for keeping poison uh, potions in, sorry. Another potion there. Won't really help me. Deck of cards, not for me. I'll do a health potion. Let's think about that one. I'll leave some money in the bank for the next round. Strong heroic potion. And they've got the snake, that's a bit scary. Oh, I thought that'd be a poison build, but we um, absolutely smashed them in the poison delt. That's okay. Two poison daggers. When health drops below 50%, After being consumed, also applies the effect of the above potion without consuming it. So that will trigger that early. Potentially help out a lot. Uh, heart container can be good as well. Another dagger, another demonic flask. You know what? Why not? <laughs> Interesting to see how this works then. Okay. <laughs> Not complaining about that. For the glowing crown, every 2.5 seconds, cleanse, blind, and heal 5. Healing's pretty good. That is expensive though. Let's see what happens. Pineapple. More healing. And thorns, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> that is a spiky build over there. What have they got? Claws of attack, they've got three spike shields. Blood thorn. Holy moly. Ten uh, spikes on there. Oh, my potions have gone in. Took her down. There we go. Look at that. Um, that's actually quite a good little build there. I'm quite happy with that. Let's go into survival mode. Always uh, going to get the chance to keep playing, keep building the same build. I think I can actually upgrade that flask as, sorry, that potion as well. Be lovely. More um, coal. Uh, what does coal do in armor? Gain eight armor. Why not? Uh, I'll think about that pineapple next turn. Okay, we're against a Chibi Berserker. He likes um, gemstones, apparently. Lots of those going. Oh, that's a lot of shield. Oh, won't matter. Lovely. Okay, so now we've got two of these strong demonic flasks. Bye. So that'll trigger that, and that'll trigger that. Potentially, is that how that works? We'll see. Uh, I do need room for these, so I'm going to put you there. Pop that there. Get some more healing. More backspace. backpack space would be fantastic. Every five seconds, randomly gain 14 shield or two stamina or two luck. Triggers 10% faster for each item. Don't hate that. I hate that I bought that without thinking about where I was going to put it. Is that five? That's six. Oh, I reckon I can put it there without too much hassle. So that's. 60% faster, so every two and a half seconds I can gain shield, stamina, or luck, which is good for me, whichever way that goes. <laughs> Holy moly, that's some dragons. That is some dragons. Fair enough. Alright, we'll just let that one go. <laughs> Didn't even see if these triggered normally. Um... Might be good, but I'll move on. 
that's more of a stamina regeneration buff. I don't think stamina is my issue. I've got very low stamina use. Spiked Collar increases the duration of the Battle Rage. That's a want for sure. And Cheese as well. Yes. Every four seconds gain 10 maximum health and a random buff. Cheese is uh, good. Put it simply. I'm going to wrangle this. More importantly, why was I doing that to start with? Um, what can I do? Might be a go. Oh, now I can't buy the cheese. It's a shame. Oh, next turn. I'll save some money. What? Hang on. Pause. What is this? Every 1.9 seconds, use one luck to gain two buffs of the type of which you have the most. Every 2.8 seconds, remove one buff of each shot from your opponent. Ooh, I've never seen any of this stuff. Mr. Struggles. That's uh, concerning. Although, these potions, man. Coming in very clutch for me. I'm going to... Pop that cheese there. Wait, can I... No, I can't. That's okay. Every four seconds gain 10 maximum health and a random buff, but that'll happen... 40% faster, so that's good. Another healing potion. Could upgrade it as well. Another protective purse backpack. Gives me a free 8 shield. So will that. I could buy this thorn whip. What does that synergize with? The hammer. Because I'm using bugger all stamina. I have no idea where it's going to fit. But I'll buy it. Somehow, I'll wrangle this. Oh man. That is a full backpack. Let's just get that in. Not the best, but it'll have to do. Uh, I really need more backpack space now. I was going to get upgraded. I also put the pineapple in there. I'd like to see... Being able to turn that into two spots, but that's not going to happen. Unless... No, it's just not going to happen. Uh, what can I do? That might work. Buffs me up a little bit here, but uh, at least I can cram everything in. Let's see what happens here. What is that? Mana Thirst. Oof. Brutal. What is that? Oh, I just turned... I just turned that potion into a mana potion. Because I put a blueberry next to it, I didn't realise. Hmm. Dumb. Anyway, I now have a chain whip. That'll do. During battle rage, additionally heal for eight. Take that, I suppose. Um, what else? Bit of a... Well, uh, what do you call that? A fanny pack. Be good. Put that there. 
goes back to normal a bit. Um, the gold, I can think about rolling a little bit. I want a poison potion. Maybe. Take that. Or some free shield. Coal. Every weapon has coal. No, it doesn't. There we go. Oh, a ruby egg. A dragon. And some cheese. No idea how I'm going to fit a dragon in this build, but we'll see. Go up against the pyro with the dragon build and... Having played a number of games as that build, that is um, quite easy to get overpowered. <laughs> Strong Pestilence Flask. Opponent regenerates health, consume this, and inflict three poison and one to myself. After seven seconds, inflict another three. That's not fantastic, is it? Um, but cheese is fantastic, so I will go for some cheese. Another mushroom there. Another shieldy backpack there. Don't know what I'm getting out there, but anyway. Definitely want that. I think that's too late for the ruby egg. Take two, two turns to hatch. <laughs> Before they even do anything for you, really, so. But they go. This is a red build, all about lifesteal. But, need to do better than that. Beautiful. And we survive. Two tries left. Increase that ranking a bit more, and there we go. Interesting build, that one. The pandemonium is something I haven't actually really used in the past, so that's pretty good. And then, yeah, any food build is something that's uh, I've done a fair bit with, which is nice. But uh, as you can see, there's still plenty to uh, plenty to see and plenty that I haven't actually come up against before. So it's always interesting. But I will leave it there. So thank you for watching. If you like this and want to see more, please subscribe. It helps me out. Keep you in the loop when new videos drop. Chuck a comment in the comment section below if you have any feedback or game suggestions and I'll do my best to get back to every single one of you. So thanks again and I'll see you next time.